Hi everyone and welcome to my CEP 416 website. Um, this is my classroom website and I'm so excited to show you about. Uh, this is the home page and on the home page, well I started every page really with a banner that looks like this and they have um, inspirational quotes on them and I think it's really important to have a positive learning environment for students and that's something that I hope to really try to instill in my students minds and I think that they're a lot more open to learning so if maybe I keep the website a little bit more upbeat it will keep them a little bit more motivated so on the first page I have welcome second graders a little introduction about how excited I am to start the school year with everyone and I really want it to be known and everyone to feel comfortable coming to me with anything comments concerns questions stuff like that so I put my contact information on the very home page the home page is the first page that people see and if they ever need to contact me, all they have to do is go to the website. It's right there. And I think it's important that parents, administrators, students, anyone really who has questions, comments, concerns, anything, feels comfortable contacting to me because if we have an open communication, things will get done better. There won't be any problems. Well, as many. And I think that it's very important. So that's the home page. Um, up here is the menu bar right up here. The next page we're going to look at is my About Me page. So if you click here, on my About Me page there's another happy quote. And I have a picture of me and then um, if you scroll down I have a little bit about my school background, a little bit about what I love, and a little bit about my beliefs. I think it's important that the students know that yes I am their teacher but I'm also a person and I also um, have a life and enjoy doing other things as well. And I think that's something I always struggled with. I always just thought that my teacher was just my teacher. And I think that I really want to show my students that I really enjoy life and um, this is a little bit about me and I have a little bit of pictures of me doing the things that I love and things that maybe they could relate to too to make them feel a little bit more comfortable with me. And at the bottom I direct it right back to the students because I want to get to know about the students. My ultimate goal is to make sure that everyone gets to know about everyone. They know about me, I know about them. So I have a little bit um, right down here and it has the exact document it would tell me a little bit about the parents and about the students what I really like about this is that they can submit it online in this drop box right over here so don't have to print it off we don't have to use paper um, and there's a less likely chance of it getting lost and not getting back to me And I think that it's really important that I get to know the student and this is a very good way to do it so that's my about me page The next page is the homework blog um, I know that with technology coming out and stuff, I know that a lot of schools are texting the homeworks home and stuff, and I really think that I will send home a page with all of the homework assignments and stuff like that, but this is kind of constant. Parents can keep this on their bookmarks. Um, students can always come check it out. Every Monday it will be updated, and every Friday the assignments will be due. I have bolded letters for the um, important things underlined and stuff like that and again on the side over here it always just says that feel free to contact me so this is here for the students um, so that it's easy it's right there it's easy easily accessible and it's consistent throughout the year it's something that they can always check on they can make a habit of it and stuff like that so that's that page the next page is the calendar page I got this idea from other classmates and I think it's a really good idea to have um, a classroom calendar. Um, I can update the banner every month and I really like that I can do something different with the pictures like this month is December, it's snowing, we're most definitely going to be talking about weather, things that we do in the winter, things that come up in the winter and so maybe if I put a little bit of snow on the background in the month they can be, oh yeah it snows, it snows in the winter and add little things and like that we could talk about it in class. Um, I really like that it's all laid out. I really like that you can print the calendar. That way I can send home a newsletter or something like that, but if parents lose the newsletter, need to, they're at work, they want to look it up, they forgot something, it's right there. They can come here, they can check it out. And it's really cool because every time I update it on um, Google, it just automatically updates to Weebly. So I think that's really awesome and it will be very beneficial for any classroom. The next page is the daily recap page. And from my experience, in my job right now at the daycare, I know that parents love to see what their kids are doing and um, this way, I mean I know it might be hard to keep up with that first but if I can find a way to do it, it would be awesome. Is 
to take pictures of the students throughout the day and then post them with at the bottom things that we did that day and that way they can see um, they can come on and they can see themselves so they can identify oh that's me that's my friend and kind of have a sense like that but they also get to know um, remember what they did that day so they can rethink about what we learned and stuff like that also on this page which I really like is um, the survey so the survey at the bottom is for Halloween party I can see um, who's attending if they're going to bring siblings and how many so I know how many people are going to be in the classroom the treats that they're going to be bringing so I know um, what kind of things we'll have there and then their name I think that's really cool that we can do it that way and it's just a good way to communicate with the parents and it's easy it doesn't get lost in transition and it's really beneficial I would say next page is the student of the week I know that this is something that I always look forward to as a student and so it's something that I really want to incorporate in my classroom um, at the top there's a lot of words but I think it's good because there's a schedule for every week so that if you're not the student of the week you're not going to be looking at it and maybe you lost the sheet of paper that says it so it would be really important that they can just go back and check oh it's Monday night what do I have to bring for Tuesday stuff like that and a little bit of a summary at the top so and then at the bottom the student sends in a picture and then I update all of their information and the students can come on and see a little bit about their classmates I think it's really important that you create a sense of community and everyone trusts everyone that way everyone's comfortable learning environment is good and it's really exciting so I think that this is going to be a fun little thing for students to do and it takes about five ten minutes a day and it lets the students feel important and I think that that's also something that's really important on the next under more there's some we'll go to the grow your brain this is just um some well we did this in class but something that I found really interesting and I think that a lot of parents will too and I think that if we put this out in the beginning of the year that these are the two kinds of things this is the research that shows this um, and this is a very friendly um, inviting page so I think that it'll be great for parents to see this is what I should do with my kids and if I encourage them to learn instead of just praise them then maybe this will be the outcome so it brings open mind invite something new and at the bottom there are more um, articles which I really liked the next one is classroom technologies I think I would like to update something like this in my classroom every now and then so that parents can kinda of see what technologies are out there it shows them that I'm keeping up with my technologies and that they can keep up with them too and I really like that we learned how to use Jing so that we can show them um, stuff like tutorials like I'm doing now really but with the different technologies and if you go down you see things with iPads and I'm, I'm sure that by the time I'm a teacher lots of parents are gonna have iPads and their students are gonna play on them and this way if they're playing games on their iPad they can be educational and they can be beneficial to the student so those are just some cool things and plus I really loved Khan Academy and I think that it's something that I'm gonna to want to use in my classroom so that's that page and the very last page is the games in my peer review I was told that I had a lot of um, words and it might be hard for students which I understand completely but it's for early on um, the early elementary students and I think that when you're teaching an early elementary class and you have a website like this it's going to be mostly for the parents benefit but I wanted to have something where the students could go and feel like this website is for them too because it is for them but it's also for the parents so on this page there's a few um, different websites that they can go that have educational games and the kids love these games National Geographic we have the science Starfall for reading fun brain for all the subjects Dino Kids um, math everything so I think that that's really important even the free rice like I'm really big into global education and so I think it's cool that this is a way that the students can help feed so to speak other students and kind of learn about different cultures so I think that's really exciting and there's a little simple description of each website and then they can just click on it and we'll open a new window so those are some of the things and at the top I have my email again because I really 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 want it to be clear that I want open communication so this is my website I'm excited to 
keep working on it, keep updating it, and eventually use it in a classroom of my own. I think that this class has been very beneficial, and I'm so, so, so excited to actually be able to use my website in a classroom. So I hope you enjoyed. That's all.